Hi everybody, Richie Moe here, one of the drink makers for the American Liver Foundation. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at what we have at home and how we can actually make some fun drinks with them. So based on ingredients, glassware, obviously need some ice and some fun stuff that you should be able to find in your fridge. Whether you have a fully stocked fridge or maybe just have a couple of ingredients here and there, uh, we'll show you some fun stuff to do with those things. Alright, so when you're making drinks at home, one of the big things is, is have everything ready to go. Uh, rather than running around trying to entertain guests, uh, trying to entertain your family, trying to entertain yourself, uh, one of the best things to do is have everything kind of laid out and everything that you're going to need. Just like if you're cooking, called mise en place or a place for everything, everything in its place. It's great to do behind the bar too. So what we have is we have uh, our staples of lemon, limes, oranges. I uh, also have found some cucumbers and some apples in the fridge. Ice. We have a shaker tin. I didn't get too geeky with too many uh, ingredients for making drinks at home just because a lot of people don't have the same stuff that I would have. Uh, I always keep the office at the office and try to keep the office out of the home. So I just keep really basic stuff at, uh, at the house for, for making cocktails um, and drinks, uh, not alcoholic drinks, uh, blender, uh, shaker tin, ice, maybe a little spoon, and then I have some other little hack items for you as well that we're going to show you. All right, so for spring going into summer, one thing that I really like to do is I always keep lemons and limes around. They're great for lemonades, limeades, things along those lines. What we need to do though, is if we ever have anything that sour or that bitter, we need to actually add something sweet to it. So a lemonade, a limeade, uh, whatever it may be. And one thing that we're going to do is we're going to show you uh, very easy ways or tell you very easy ways as to how to make some sweetening agents for drinks. So one is uh, honey syrup. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one cup of honey to one cup of water, heat it up melt it down. What that does is the honey's not going to seize when you throw it into a lemonade or use it to sweeten your lemonade. Um, and same with agave. It's one cup of agave nectar to one cup of water. You can do the same thing as a simple syrup. If you just have sugar lying around the house, you do one cup of sugar to one cup of water. Generally what that does is it gives you a ratio of if you do one part of uh, let's say lemon juice or lime juice, that one part of cut agave or cut honey syrup or simple syrup is going to balance those flavors out. Lemons and limes obviously uh, have a little bit more juice from different times of the year. You can get a little bit more yield out of them. They might be a little bit more intense. So we're going to want to taste everything, just like when we're cooking as well. Uh, if we're making just some lemonades, if we're making any drinks at the house, we want to go ahead and uh, make sure that we're tasting. So have a straw, have a spoon, have a little sip, whatever it may be, but make sure you're tasting your drinks. As one thing too, if you want to get away from uh, some of the natural sugars, you want to use some artificial flavorings, less calories, whatever it may be, you can make simple syrups or syrups with uh, your stevias um, or any of your alternative uh, sweetening agents out there as well. So play around with those, have a little fun with them. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get into some fruit hacks. So some things that I like to do with fruits and vegetables when I'm, uh, when I'm making cocktails. As one thing too, if you want to get away from uh, some of the natural sugars, you want to use some artificial flavorings, less calories, whatever it may be, you can make simple syrups or syrups with uh, your stevias um, or any of your alternative uh, sweetening agents out there as well. So play around with those, have a little fun with them. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get into some fruit hacks. So some things that I like to do with fruits and vegetables when I'm, uh, when I'm making cocktails. All right, so my uh, two major ingredients that I'm always going to use are lemons and limes. I'm a, I love making lemonades, I love making limeades, and I like to jazz them up for the summertime. Uh, being that it's starting to warm up here in Arizona, and I'm sure it is everywhere else as well, uh, but once we get into the really uh, uh, hard months of summer, to have something very refreshing, very citrusy is a fun way to go. So I'm going to show you a couple hacks that what you can do is, one thing in the morning time, I'm always running a little late, so I need a little lemon in my hot tea. So what you can do is you can take a lemon, you can actually roll it out, and if you just want a little squirt and you want to save that lemon for later, take a chopstick. Take a chopstick, your little beaded end there, pop that bad boy right down in there, work the chopstick around a little bit and that'll break up some of the lemon juice. And if I'm running out the door, I can just squeeze a little bit of lemon, throw my lemon back in there and come and break it down later on. Another good hack for lemons is if we have a lemon, we cut it in half. If we don't have a juicer around, a lot of people use pressed juicers, things along those lines to get their fresh lemon juice. You can actually take a whisk. Take your whisk, pinch the end, and use it just like you would a juicer. And you can get all those ingredients out of there. Take your seeds out. If you like pulp, keep your pulp in there. I'm a pulp guy, so I like keeping the pulp and I just pick the seeds out. But you can juice all the way down to a lemon. It's just like using a juicer. Little life hack for lemons at the house. All right, so now a couple hacks that we have uh, for an orange. What we do is we take a bar spoon. You can take a teaspoon, anything along those lines. Go halfway up the orange, break into the orange a little bit, and let the spoon do the work. And you can just kind of go around. And once you have it started, you can work the spoon around. And what that's going to do is it's going to take all the skin off, 
and it's going to allow you to peel it a lot easier. So you can just peel that right off. And the more you work it around, you can just take it off in one continuous piece. For the next hack, what we have here is limes. Uh, I love making limeades and frozen limeades in the summertime. Uh, so what we do is we actually take all the skin off of our limes. It's very simple. Cut a lime and uh, cut the ends off the lime. Set it down and just let the knife do the work. And cut the pith and the zest off. And if you're ever into a lot of cooking and things along those lines, what you can do is you can pre-zest all your fruit, especially if you're going to juice it, because then you can use the citrus zest for cooking, uh, some finishing zests on salads, uh, add them to pastas, things along those lines. Then what I do is on my finished product on limes, I actually throw those in the freezer. So if you're ever going to make a frozen li uh, limeade, what that does is it intensifies because you're using a little bit less of uh, ice and a little bit less of the watering down ingredients, so you have a nice intense lime flavor. When you do that, you're going to want to add your simple syrup, which again is going to be one part sugar uh, to one part water. Melt that down. Don't let it cook too long. Um, but that's just a nice sweetening agent. It carries fresh flavors very well, your cucumbers, your limes, your lemons. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, some fun summertime drinks. Uh, number one is we're going to do a, a nice simple cucumber lemonade. A couple of different ways you can do cucumber. You can chop your cucumber up and do some nice slices uh, with some lemon and just go ahead and throw those right in, uh, right in your lemonade or you can muddle a little bit of cucumber to really get a lot of those flavors in. I personally like my uh, summertime cocktails a little bit more progressive as the sun hits them, as they start to melt down a little bit, all those flavors kind of sink in. So you get a really bitter lemonade up front, but then as a cucumber and as a little bit more of the lemon starts to sink in, all the flavors become a little bit more cohesive. So what we're gonna do is, since I like my progressive cocktail, we're gonna take our cucumber, which I had already cut, but if you wanted to do just a thin slice of cucumber and cut that right down, one thing that's fun about it, take your skin off of there, so just slice that skin off. And all that is is two easy cuts right down the sides. And then you can actually take your cucumber and take a glass and lay it right in that glass and spit it around there. And not only does it look cool, but we're also going to add a lot of cucumber flavor. So you have a nice little cucumber there. We're going to add our ice. When I make a lemonade at the house, I already have my simple syrup, my honey syrup, or my agave syrup ready to go. So what I do is I do one cup of lemonade to one cup of simple syrup to one cup of water. And that'll get you really close on a lemonade recipe. If you like it a little bit sweeter, you're going to want to taste it. If you like it a little bit more sour, you're going to want to taste it and adjust from there. So I have a lemonade that I made a little earlier right there. And then, obviously, we're going to want a little garnish on there as well. We take a lemon. And just a nice thin slice of lemon, if you want to get fancy, cut it right down the middle, one way, and you can set it right on top of the drink. And nice, simple cucumber lemonade. All right, for our next summertime drink, what we're going to do is we're going to make an apple coconut berry freeze. So what we do is we just take regular red apple. I usually do Fuji apples, but honestly, I don't know what I had in my fridge, so this is what we're using. Chop those up. I usually use about a quarter of an apple at a time. Go ahead and throw that in our blender. We're gonna take our two frozen limes that we had earlier, and again, if we keep our limes frozen, that acts as a little bit of ice, so we don't have to put quite as much ice in there. I have a little bit of simple syrup, and again, when I make my simple syrups, my lemon juice, my lime juice, my lime juices, and things along those lines, what I do is I like to measure those out. So this is an ounce and a quarter. So we have an ounce and a quarter of sugar syrup going in there. And then I have a little bit of coconut water as well. And we're gonna save the berry till a little bit later. I'll show you guys what we're gonna do with the berry. So coconut water. It's about three ounces of coconut water. And I'm just gonna throw a little tiny splash of lemonade in there. And then a, about a half a scoop of ice. Since we already have our frozen limes in there, it's gonna work out just fine. Another cube or two in there. There we go. All right, then what we do is we blend this bad boy up. And whatever consistency you like, I like to be able to drink it so I don't like them to freeze up on me too much. So we take our frozen concoction into our glass there.
And then to garnish that bad boy up, we take a little bit of blueberry and pomegranate juice, which I made a juice out of a little bit earlier. And right over the top there, and that's gonna sink down. Make a nice rosy colored drink with a lot of fresh ingredients. And if you so choose to do so, you can garnish with a little bit of apple. So I usually just take some thinly sliced apple, put it right over the top. And we have our coconut berry freeze. Thanks again for tuning in, everybody. Once again, this is Richie Moe from Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, if you do have any questions on any cocktails, any recipes like you saw here today, or you need new recipes, feel free to direct message me. My uh, Instagram is Mixing Mo M I X I N G M O E, uh, or my Facebook is Richie Moyo R I C H M O E Y O. And feel free to hit me up anytime uh, if you just want to have a conversation. Let's chat. Um, don't forget to go ahead and sign up on liverlifewalk.org slash phoenix, which is our virtual Liver Life Walk Phoenix uh, event. It's going to be a great one.